Hello Zero Wasters and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is pretty special because we are celebrating three years of Bottega Zero Waste and for the occasion I've also opened doors to all of my online courses where you can learn how to make your own natural soap, shampoo bars, conditioner bars and makeup. You can find all the details linked down below. Make sure to join us before the end of Friday, 26th of March 2021, because we will be closing doors then. For the occasion, I've decided to publish a mini series of three videos starting from today until Friday, where I will uh, give you my top three tips on how you can formulate zero waste products that are super effective but are formulated with fewer ingredients. For this first video, I will show you how you can make a super fluffy body soap using just one single oil. If you're super new to soap making, it's very important that you familiarize yourself with the safety measures first. I've linked a tutorial down below where I walk you through all of the safety steps you must follow before attempting to make your first soap. Make sure to watch that before attempting this recipe. Okay, let's go back to the basics. What is soap? Soap is a result of the reaction between fats, in our case oils, and sodium hydroxide, which is quite a caustic, very alkaline ingredient that must be dissolved into a liquid, and this is usually water. In soap making, using a combination of different oils usually is the best way to achieve a balanced bar of soap that is moisturizing and not too drying. Yes, that's because oils give different qualities and properties to soap. Instead, if we used only one oil, for example, avocado oil or jojoba, we will likely obtain a really soft, sticky soap. And that's because often just one oil doesn't have all the qualities necessary to give enough hardness and the right lather to our soap. There are a few exceptions, for example, with 100% olive oil you can obtain castile soap, which hardens over time. But that means you need to wait for several months before you can use your soap. I have a tutorial which I will link down below in case you're interested. The other exception, which is what we're going to go into details today, is coconut oil. Yes, because coconut oil has a really unique fatty acid profile which gives the soap hardness but also fluffy lather. However, when used in high amounts in a recipe, coconut oil can be quite drying. So let me show you a trick every soap maker must know if they want to formulate their own balanced soap recipe using just coconut oil. In order to make 100% coconut oil soap not drying, we need to reduce the amount of sodium hydroxide in the recipe by 20%. This technique is also called super fatting. This will ensure that the soap will still be hard and fluffy, but not drying to the skin. Wearing safety goggles and gloves, prepare the light solution by adding the sodium hydroxide into the water and remember never the opposite and make sure to use a heat resistant parex glass jugs or stainless steel saucepan or a heavy duty plastic bowl for this when we prepare our live solution it reaches very high temperatures so make sure not to leave it unattended make sure you also don't have any pet and children around you at this stage, we need to allow the live solution to cool down. So in the meantime, we can go ahead and melt the coconut oil. Temperature is very important in soap making. The live solution and our oils should be roughly at the same temperature. And for this recipe, we're aiming at about 110 Fahrenheit, which is 43 degrees Celsius. Once we have reached this temperature in both our live solution and the melted coconut oil, we can slowly pour the light solution into our coconut oil. As soon as the light solution hits the coconut oil and we move the mix around with the spatula, we start a process called emulsification, where the light solution is binding with the oil and transforming it into soap. It's pure magic. Now we can start stick blending everything using a stick blender. We continue stick blending until we see that both ingredients have now fully incorporated into one single soap butter. And at this stage, I will add a little bit of essential oil just to give my soap a scent. I choose lavender, which is super soothing and literally my favorite essential oil, but you can use any other essential oil of your choice. We mix the essential oil in with the spatula and we give the soap another stick blend for a few more seconds 
what we want to achieve is something called trace that's when we leave the soap drip on top of the butter and we see a trail left behind this is what tells us that we are ready to pour the soap into the mold and let it rest for 24 hours before we can unmold it I always keep my coconut soap free of any covering because coconut is such a hard oil that uh, it can very easily overheat if we cover it, if we insulate it. Um, so just let it breathe uh, for the 24 hours and come back to it the next day to pop it out of the mold. After you unmold the soap, you need to wait for about four to six weeks before you can use your soap. That is because any uh, lye that we use in the soap must evaporate out so that the soap is actually mild and not drying to the skin. And there you go, you've just made a soap using just one oil, coconut oil, and you'll be shocked to see how much lather this soap makes. Um, I usually use this soap in the shower to replace my regular body wash and it works super, super well. This was such a simple recipe, but imagine what you can do when you actually learn how to formulate your own recipes from scratch. You will be completely 100% in control of every single ingredient that you put in your recipe. This is exactly what all of my students did inside soap making for zero wasters. For example, Marina had this huge amount of olive oil uh, because she has like a family production and she didn't want to waste all of the olive oil. And so she uh, joined us inside soap making for zero wasters and was able to save so many liters of uh, oil and turn them into soap. Or for example, Teresa who just three months after enrolling launch her own zero waste soap shop Colby Soap as well as Mel who added a natural soap line to her clinic uh, called Mel Pronema Therapies. When you're ready to join us just click the link down below. Remember we're closing doors on Friday um, at midnight UK time so you only have a couple of days left. Okay that was it for today's video. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video which is going to be all about a super simple and effective method to make shampoo bars using fewer ingredients.